If you just got Madden 25 starting Ultimate Team and don't know where to start, this video is for you. So you go into Ultimate Team. It's an overwhelming amount of things up in this joint. First and foremost, what you need to be knocking out is challenges. All of them. Yes, all of them. Hold on, I got somebody stream up. Let me go ahead and turn it down to Charles, man, stream up. But anyway, you want to get into doing these challenges. And yes, I do mean all of these challenges from Hispanic Heritage to Team of the Week to AKA Team Builders, Legends, all of them. Now, this is what you need to know about AKA and Legends. As you do these, you're going to be given token packs. Take the token packs. So far, you're able to get two legends a b and d so make sure you take a player that you need and aka's you're able to get two aka's i haven't redeemed my last one yet it's probably gonna be jj watt but with doing those challenges they give you your choice because every single one of them has a set i'll go to that set for y'all so y'all can see them aka has a set where you put all of those tokens in and you make sure you put it into the right set this one right here that aka champion token exchange and you can choose from any of these cards now let's not look at the lower overalls any of these cards the set ones you don't get any ltds but the set guys you can choose from any one of these guys to put on your team two of them so i think i'm gonna have mad stork and i'm gonna get jj swat because i heard he's really good i don't need a wide receiver there a dime a dozen quarterbacks a dime a dozen too but if you really like any of those cards like pick them for your own reason you know what i'm saying and do your thing and it's the exact same thing for legends we able to choose two legends so any set legends let me find that for you guys boom any set legends is ocho cinco and me and joe green coming out this weekend they probably already came out you seeing this video the following week i'm on vacay this is in the in-laws holidays happy holidays to y'all man happy holiday but you're able to choose from any of these legends what i like to do is i haven't redeemed anything but theirs is down here it's right here it was a glitch a lot of my tokens gone chill on me <laughs> But it's this one right here, Champ Token Exchange. And I, when new legends drop, I always wait until it's confirmed that they impact. How do you know it's confirmed? Pop into people's communities and you cook up and that's how you see them. So that's what that's with those challenges. And then when it comes to most fear, um, you get a bunch of packs and things when it comes to most fear. Upgrade tokens for certain cards as well. Make sure you always take the BND pack. You don't want the 82 plus those low overall cards. They ain't much worth much of nothing these days. You take those as you're doing that you're gonna be upgrade you're gonna be getting coins you're gonna be getting a lot of things and once you're finished with all of these challenges that's when we can go into how you get one make some coinage on this game because after doing all of this you're gonna get a lot of objectives done you're gonna get a lot of things done to where then you got to figure out that but it's gonna take you a little minute to do all these challenges so lock in you know what i'm saying you're gonna get hispanic heritage players those are really good team of the week so another one for you guys there are team of the week and team of the year tokens two totally different sets i always use my team of the week tokens on certain players that fit my theme team packers just got christian watson so i would go to my sets uh and my program would be team of the week and i would go down to where i think he's at 89 overall and yeah, those are all the champs there's no set to get a champ no, well nothing in like put all the tokens in and get a champ no but he'll be right here Team of the week, hero. Fantasy pack is not that one. It is the one that takes tokens because I have enough right there. Token hero fantasy pack right there. And I'll be redeeming Christian Watson out of that one. So that's the team of the week. Your team of the year tokens is there's a promo every year, team of the year. Uh, and it'd be like the best players of the year. So as you do your solos, you get those. Don't do anything with them. You can't quick sell them anyway. So yeah, you can't even mark them for quick sell you. So you just hold on to those. And at the end of the year, it's a bunch of high overall cards. You're able to get one for free there. I think they're sellable sometimes. Sometimes it's multiple. You never know. But that's that's what you do with those. So challenges, first and foremost, that's what you're doing. And then we go to these to the field pass. And when going to the field pass, milestone. What do you need to do for week one? You know what I'm saying? Certain things track in any game mode, like extra points and fumbles. But some you have to play, whether it be solo battles, solo seasons, or, you know what I'm saying, online. And so when it comes to playing online, you can pop out on my channel, my streams, use what I use. But basically, just find a scheme online. Really, you can run the same thing you ran last year offensively. Defensively, hey, I'm going to just send up a hope and a prayer for you because that's how I'll be playing. This shit. But um, yeah, 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 programs or two touchdowns with all Madden players in the bow loader right there. Okay, I like that. Then 
touchdowns is an 81 plus all Madden player. Okay. And then you get XP from doing that too. But yeah, make sure you're keeping track of those milestones and those things. Like I said, if you want to know your scheme for online, um, you know what I'm saying? If you want you a scheme to play online, search YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Best scheme in Madden 25. Or, I mean, if you're one of those players who like to make it yourself, then everything I just said don't even matter to you. But yeah. <laughs> and then when, when it comes to that, and then I also went upgrading. You have We have seasoned players. Every season has their own players. There are a bunch of players this year. I already posted them. You got the McCaffrey family, the Bosa brothers, the the Diggs brothers, uh, the Williams brothers. It is a lot of cards that drop. So I picked a wide receiver, uh, Luke McCaffrey, because he's on my theme team. And you're able to get him up to a 92 right now. We ain't got the 93 and 94 token just yet. We haven't, you know what I'm saying, been given an opportunity to get those guys. But... I mean, that's how you look on my theme scene. 92 speed, 6'2 is a really nice car. So I picked him. Pick. Matter of fact, don't, don't pick him yet. If you don't know, don't pick. Wait till you got your team solidified and then you pick. Like, I got some guys from the past season still in a squadron right now. You know what I'm saying? Doing their thing. And as well, if you bought the deluxe version, I made sure that I kept it. I made sure that I kept it. Uh, Where is it? Is it here? Yes, so if you got the deluxe version, you have a pack filled with all of these. You just start, and I feel like Jaden Daniels will be a perfect choice for you because uh, that, that's basically my QB one. It's a really nice card. Got the accuracy. Every single one of those wide receivers is 90 speed. Well, except for Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison is 89 speed, but 6'4". You got Xavier Worthy, 90 speed. Malik Neighbors, 90 speed. Uh, Brock Bowers has, damn, 86 speed. So definitely not the best at tight end. And then you got Caleb Williams. The card is actually pretty nice. He's just not as fast as Jaden Daniels. So, yeah. So, you're able to pick one of those guys as well. That's basically my information on that one. Uh, don't stress yourself out of an offensive line. Trust me, people running glitch blitzes and sending the house. So, you got the best people ever on your line, and it literally won't matter. But don't stress too tough of an offensive line. Defensively, uh, I would say make sure your DBs are up to par, at least speed-wise. Just make sure you got some guys with some speed out there. This is me talking to you guys about online play quarterback um everybody's gonna overthrow everybody's gonna underthrow every wide receiver is gonna dumb out and do whatever they want sometimes it's madden welcome just because you paid millions for a card don't mean he gonna play up to par leave and we also have i am getting blown up bro. jesus christ we also have team captain i think i have all of mine that are possible to get got Oh uh, yeah, so Manti Teo, uh, this one, this one, all of these guys are the team captains. Once again, choose who your team needs. Your team needs is what you're going to be basing this off. Nothing else. Nothing else, only your team needs. I think I'm going to go kicker right here, though. I can't use strong safety. But anyway, when you get them up to, I want to say 90 overall, they're able to get like um, three team cams. If you went three theme team with it, you know what I'm saying? Like theme teams is another video. I'm gonna make sure I link it in the description because you guys will be also, you know what I'm saying? Locked in on that one. I'm gonna remake that video for y'all as well. But if you go three theme teams, the benefit of that is 20 out of 20 is where you get the speed boost. We don't have 50 out of 50 yet. 50 out of 50 mean what I'm speaking of is you got 50 players on your team. They all have the same chem. And what that used to mean was plus two speed. Now, if you have 20 players of the same team chemistry on your team, you get a plus one speed. So you can give him three of those. Basically, I got three of them max. Yeah, each one of them. You get a plus one speed for each one, plus three speed. That's I tell you, really good at middle linebacker. I had Pat Tillman. I think he was like 94 speed. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to start putting these on the kicker, to be honest. Yeah, so I could have the Kim at kicker. I think I got enough. Let me see. I don't know exactly. I have enough. I think five is enough. I think 84 is where you get it. Just so I can have another Kim kicker so that'll free up even more for me to add in cards that don't have um the team kim yes it unlocks so i could just choose one that's not what's this kick power 83 ayo he ain't playing over boswell boswell got 86 kick power all that matters 
And I think for the most part, that's it. Like I said, you don't have to be an online player. Like when I was talking about all the things, all the things that got to get done online, you can go to solo seasons. That's when it's a regular season, like seasons playing online, but you're going against a computer. You don't get as good as rewards, but you get rewards and you can get objectives done. And it's also, if you want to stay in tune, stay in touch, follow your favorite content creator, lock in with us in the community. Um, we always got methods for you whether it's playing the auction house, anticipating a promo to drop that's going to drive the auction house up or down. Um, it's countless amounts of things that you can do with the auction house. A lot of snipes and mud exchange, snipe spotter. Watch that video as well for me, man. I'm going to have it pop up right here. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of ways you can make coins in this game. You just got to, you know what I'm saying? Put the hashtag work in and you got it, man. So I appreciate everybody for stopping by. And if there's any other questions you have about Ultimate Team, please don't hesitate to put it in the description below because me and the community is here to help you.